Alright, hey guys, welcome back to another video. Uh, today I'm going to show you how to make this very neat rebirth menu or rebirth system inside of uh, your clicker game. Now this is part 4 if I'm right, I think. Part 4, wow, I've never really made 4 of these, it's pretty quick. Um, but anyway, uh, I did see your comment by the way on the leader stats uh, save script. I can't do that, I, I'm actually struggling to actually find a way to do it, but at some point I'll find a workaround and I'll be right with you to do that. Uh, but anyway, today I'm going to show you how to make this rebirth menu, let's get right into it. Alright, so as you can see I've actually removed everything and we are ready to go. So, uh, I published the model, you can get this from the description, uh, drag it into your game, um, and then you should see the, game, uh, the model up here. Now you want to click the arrow and you should see all of this. Now you want to drag in the ungroup in service group service into service group service. Then you can do control U or you can right click and ungroup uh, there. Ungroup. And if you already have one from my previous video, delete the previous one which doesn't have rebirths and rebirth upgrade. And yeah, you should be good to go. Um, close off the script. And you should see ungroup and start a GUI. Uh, drag this into starter GUI, uh, right click and uh, and ungroup, so starter GUI, right click, ungroup, and you should see it. You should see the frame and the button. Now you want to drag these two into your main GUI. So just like that, boom, and you should see it come up on the screen. Now this is it, this is all you need to do, uh, but you can actually read this if you want, but you don't need to. Uh, then just delete the model. Um, but besides than that, this is it. Like th it's all ready. It it's ready to go. But I just want to uh, talk through a few things uh, with it. So here's the rebirth menu. Um, now, as as you can see, there are quite a few things. Let me uh, make this visible. So there's the rebirth button and all this other text. Now required. Don't worry. That that'll actually uh, change when. Uh, when we actually load up the game, but if we go to local script, this may look like a lot, but I can I made it really easy for you guys. All you need to do is pretty much do like nothing really, unless you want to change the uh, how how the number changes every single time you uh, rebirth. So when you rebirth, the next goal will add a thousand. So if we go into our service service it starts at 1000 meaning that but next time in rebirth the next goal is 2000 then 3000 then 4000 then we we'll keep going and you can also uh, change the reward uh, so the click upgrade would be how many clicks the player gets per click uh, you can change that from 10 or whatever number you want but i'm just gonna leave it as that and that's pretty much it that's all you need to know um, but anyway uh, let's click play and just like that we are in with the rebirth button and our upgrade button. Now for testing purposes, I'm going to use an auto clicker. All right, let's zero and we should just click. Okay, so now I'm at a thousand, right? I can now click on the rebirth button and you should see this menu. Now, as I said earlier, this uh, required text originally changes to your players, true player 25, rebirth upgrade amount. So if we change this, it will change to whatever the goal is so even if we tried doing this it won't work anymore because the goal isn't 1000 anymore so i'll be back to 1000 rebirth now and we should lose all of our clicks and add one rebirth and as you notice if we go into click upgrade we've actually gained 10 uh of this so now we get 26 per click which is pretty neat uh, but besides from that, that'll be it. If this did help you in any way, a like would be appreciated. And I'd really like it if you could subscribe to, subscribe to the channel as well. And uh, that'll be it. And as always, goodbye.